Welcome back. So, within two months, the federal government has recovered $151 million, 8 billion naira, 9.2 million dollars, 74,000 pounds, huge sums, huge sums, huge sums. Mr. Modiwe, are we on track? I, I sincerely, first let me thank you, but let me say, I remain confused. Uh, the bed crows in the night, somebody dies in the morning, what's going on? The Federal Executive Council started. The first thing they told all of us, the number one thing on our agenda is to fight corruption. At that time, the people were not involved. They were fighting corruption. And then, 20-something months after, it's now time to get the people involved. And, okay, now, come ahead and blow whistles. And then suddenly, we're getting a lot of millions in dollars. Question, were these millions in dollars seen somewhere before we were told to blow whistles? Or is it true that somebody was now blowing whistles in response? And so far, we've not seen anybody who has come out to say, federal government, we give this person an award. He blew the whistle that led us to this number of dollars. Some of us are confused. Well, of course, you know there, are, there is trust deficit somewhere. And so we're watching, and we're trying to understand that this is not directed. There's something that happened in, in the country, one country in Africa, I can't remember the name. There was a particular man who was working for government and was dismissed by that government because they found him to be both inefficient and corrupt. And the man left, and the opposition party actually made statements that the idea of take, telling this man to go is ethnic cleansing. And the man quickly joined the opposition party. Mm -hmm. And the story was that this same man <coughs> helped, you know, fund the opposition party and got to a stage where the man started nursing ambitions. And when he started nursing ambitions and some people felt, okay, you want to take my position, some whistles started blowing. And um, the man in question was embarrassed. This was, you know, luckily it won't happen in Nigeria, but it happened in some country in Africa. The question is, is it happening here? We don't believe it will happen here, but this is to tell you <laughs> what goes on in the whistle blowing thing. For us who are looking at it from the outside, we are yet to understand whether there is sincerity of purpose, mm -hmm. because I don't see why our people were not involved from day one. Mm -hmm. First of all, and if you want to involve the people, let the National Orientation Agency or the Minister for, uh, for Information begin to educate the people on how corruption affects their lives. We do, you don't have light. How much has been spent on light, on power, in Nigeria for how many years? You don't have it, compared to other countries who spend less and they have light. This Oscar, is how it affects you. I think that is being done, Matt, because a lot of politicians are coming out, or well, people are coming out and telling us now that you don't have good roads because of corruption. You don't have light because of corruption. Is you don't have good hospitals because of corruption. We're being told that now. By government? How can government be the one to okay. do that? Mr. Ketuku. But the, the people are becoming aware of how corruption affects their lives. Now, so they they're going to be willing to blow whistles if government can ensure their safety. Beautiful. If That's I where blow I was going. a whistle, Let's say I go tell on Malaki, for instance. Mm -hmm. Malaki can organize for me to be bumped off tomorrow. So I keep your bloody mouth, excuse my French, shut. So how safe am I if I blow a whistle on anybody? That will be the first question in, on anybody's mind right now, and talking about the people being exactly. involved in this fight. And you fight. must understand this. For you to be corrupt, you must have power. Oscar. No powerless person gets corrupt. You Oscar. must be in the position of power, no matter how little. The clerk in the ministry. He has who power. Has, who hides your file? He has power to do so. 
Okay. What's up, Ichiku? <laughs> your take. You're, you're in government, so tell us. Why no, the whistle blow? I, 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 I'm so much taken aback for the senior council, what they say. When we were registered as All Progressive Congress in 2013, the number one item in our manifesto, clear cut, is war against corruption. We made and it he, mentioned, he mentioned that. Yeah. No, no, but at the same time, he's saying we didn't go the whole length of trying to educate. They are starting to involve the people. Involve the people. I thought, like Alero said, that the blame game now is that please leave the past. Let's talk of what they are doing now. So what we did was we, we let Nigerians know that, for instance, one of the first roads awarded since the return of the first Republic, first Republic was the road going from Agege, Ota, Abiyokuta. And it was awarded to Julius Vega. It's not completed up to date. We now talk of Gombe to Medugri, Medugri to Kano. Talk of Onita. To Enugu, Porako to Enugu, Lagos, Ibadan. And we, we told the Nigerian people that the cause of why these roads were not completed is because of corruption. Luckily, earlier on, there was also an issue of the $16 billion wasted on, on power. And we are now saying citizens' involvement regards that even in the banks with all we have done with the TSA, with the BVN that there are still bankers who help looters to hide their war chest please come out let us know what you have seen we also guarantee you your, your secrecy because as uh, the city council was arguing we intend to also to protect the whistleblower, because he needs to be protected. If you take back the history of his, the history blowing, they said it was also dry from hunters. That in those days, hunters can mimic some animals and they will come out. And soldiers were also blowing recently in games like football. So it's an old phenomenon. In fact, the first laws that talked about protection or about whistleblowing was in 1863. The Americans called it the False Claims Act. And incidentally, that law was made at the same time when a president, like President Muhammad Buhari was on the stage, Abraham Lincoln, who also believed that people's wealth must be kept for public good and not for private use. Same thing like the Public Interest Disclosures Act in Britain. They also try to make sure that the, 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 the whistleblower must be protected. Okay.